question 19. So, um, the compound interest question. So you really just need to or the, learn the shortcut way, which is this way. Um, it's better than just sort of working it out year after year. So you start off with the amount being invested, so 4,500, and this is multiplied by the multiplier to a power. Now, how do we work out the multiplier? Well, because the rate of interest, compound interest, is 4%, the multiplier is 1.04. Had the rate of interest been, say, 6%, the multiplier would have been 1.06. So that's where the 1.04 comes from. And the power is just the number of years we're trying to see how much he's got after. Two years, so a power of two. Five years would have been a power of five. So pop that into your calculator, and you get £4,867.20. Now, part B is sort of working on the same basis, but on this occasion, we don't know what the power is. We don't know the number of years. Okay, so start off with what we do know. The amount invested is 2,400. The multiplier, given that the compound rate of interest is 7.5%, is 1.075. We do not know the power, the number of years, but what we do know is that when you multiply this all together, you get 3445.51. So it's just trial and error, okay? And once you actually try n being 5, so you do 2,400.1.05 to the power of n, uh, to the power of 5, you do indeed get 3445.51. So n, the number of years, is uh, 5.